test, test. I hope this mic is okay. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful humans. Hey, it's Jay, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you my plan with me for April. Um, I'm really excited to show you my theme for this month. I think I say this every single month, but this theme is now my favorite theme. Uh, but April holds a very special place in my heart because it is my birthday month, so it is my favorite month. And I did a theme that, while very basic, also holds a lot of meaning to me. I also want to apologize now uh, if the audio quality is a lot different than my other videos because my mic is broken and I am doing the audio on my phone using like the headset that your phone comes with and so I'm really hoping that this sounds okay. <laughs> Enough of the ramble. I hope that March has been treating you well and that it came in, was it come, March comes in like a lion, com comes in like a lamb and out like a lion. That's what my English professor used to say. And so I hope March has been good to you. Um, March has been a very busy month for me. I think I mentioned in my other point of me that I made a career change and so I have started at my new job and I've been really loving it so far and there's just been a lot of changes which I'm excited to share in the future and hopefully one day I'll be able to get back to posting regularly. I don't post often here but if you want to hear more about my life and or rambles and little shenanigans, feel free to check out the socials in the comments below. In the comments, in the description box below. It's been so long since I've done this. Anyways, let's get into the theme for this month. Kisa is getting huge. Um, like, it's, I think I'm halfway through this, and so it's going to be really exciting to see how much I can fill up. So, without further ado, I'll show you my April theme. For April, I decided to do a music theme, and that's for a lot of reasons. First off, April is my birthday month, and I always like to do something that kind of correlates and is special to me. For April last year, I did daisies because they were my favorite flower, and music is probably one of my favorite hobbies. If you've seen on this channel before, on my TikTok, I do uh, singing covers, and I grew up playing instruments, and so music holds a very special place in my heart. And um, as I turn 25 this year, which is really crazy to admit, um, it made me look back on some other significant birthdays that I had, like my debut. Um, for those of you who don't know, a uh, debut is basically the Filipino equivalent to a Sweet Sixteen or a quinceanera that happens on a female's 18th birthday. And my theme for my debut was actually music, and I was looking through my old scrapbook um, about my debut, and I saw those photos, and I just thought it'd be fun to kind of go back and do a music theme. Also, because of the anime You Lie in April, I thought it would just be fun to, uh, to kind of play a little homage to that. So this is my title page, and what's really cool that this time I did a uh, horizontal Dutch door. So I have the piano keys at the bottom, April at the top with my pink pen, and I actually made this a horizontal Dutch door just to be a little different for this month. I thought it looked cute. This would be like the top of the piano or the keyboard, and this is the bottom piece, and then it folds into my dashboard. And so my dashboard is the same as it always is, but I just thought this was really cool and a great way to kind of incorporate it into design. It's something I've never done before, so I was really excited to do this, but it's the same format as always, a place for my important dates and a calendar stamp. 
um, a quote, and so I chose the quote, music is the, oh, hello, focus, hello, <laughs> music is the strongest form of magic, a place for my monthly tasks and my brain dump. I decided it's going to be predominantly black and white, this theme, but I wanted to add in pops of purple, because purple is my favorite color, and it was also the color of my debut, which was also a music theme, so you know what? it all kind of worked out, but I, I'm just so obsessed with like flipping this over because I think it blends uh, relatively well when this page isn't sticking out. And then I also got to use some fun stamps that I had bought off of AliExpress last year that I didn't get the chance to, which I'm really excited about. But that is my dashboard. Okay, moving on to my next page I have my goals and my gratitudes so for my goals page I decided to kind of mimic sheet music um, I will be very upfront I cannot read sheet music I learned guitar uh, I've played guitar since I was in the sixth grade and I learned through tablature and chords and so I can kind of read sheet music just from like basic music classes that I had to do in high school uh, but I can't read read it so this is just amazing grace that i copied out of an old piano book of my sisters i don't know how accurate it is so please do not come for me um but i thought it'd be cool to do a sheet music and then have like the lyrics be my uh my concepts or my goals for the month so my challenge my conscious fending plan how i plan to connect what am i trying to be consistent where do I want to be courageous? What do I want to create? And what do I want to chase for the month of April? And then I thought this is really cute. This is a stamp that I also got from Ellen Express, which is a heart with a treble and bass clef. And so I thought it kind of played into uh, the sheet music. And then I just copied off this music font from Pinterest and used my Sakura Jelly Roll. Actually, this one right here in the shade for 23. Gratitudes, I also thought, once again, let's play into the piano theme. Um, and it's an instrument I really wish I knew how to play. Unfortunately, I can't play the piano, but it's on my bucket list. I just put gratitudes and then my plan for this month is once again just writing uh, one thing I'm grateful for each day, and I've labeled off the black and white keys to correspond with a day. I'm trying cinematic mode on my phone for the first time, so I do apologize if it looks a little crazy. This next one is my mood tracker. I really liked coloring in my mood. Um, usually I go through waves whenever I do my mood tracker. Sometimes I really like the graphs, other times I really like the colors. I really like the coloring, the Pokeballs, for March. And so continuing on with that kind of concept for my mood tracker, I decided to do uh, these CDs or vinyls, and the plan is to color in that secondary ring um, with the corresponding color of my mood. Next, this is a fun spread that I thought would be really interesting to do, uh, which is a song of the day leading up to my 25th birthday. Music is such a big thing for me and in my life, and I thought it'd be really fun to create a playlist kind of to look back on maybe next year and the years after that of the songs I was listening to as I was turning 25. And so my plan, it's kind of like my gratitude of the day. I'm going to list one song every day that kind of matched the, uh, for lack of a better term, the vibe of that day. And so I think it'll be really interesting to look back on in the uh, future. Next, we have my habit tracker. As usual, the weeklies are in its uh, chart layout. And then for my daily habits, I thought it'd be cool to kind of do it like a um, like a song was playing. So I was inspired by a lot of music journals that I was looking up on Pinterest and on TikTok. And so instead of the album cover, I put my stamp. And then instead of the song title, it is my habit that I am trying to track. And that is how this looks like. I really like it. I like how simple and clean it is. I might add, who knows, maybe some music notes 
here or a quote or two because I didn't add any quotes this time around um, nor any cutouts which is really odd because I quite like scrapbooking in my bullet journals but I didn't do that for my favorite month which is which is quite odd for me this next one is the last spread which is my first weekly um, I guess it's more of a fortnight like 10 day weekly spread and that's just because I am weird and like starting out my months in my bullet journal with the first date for the weekly and April falls the first day of April falls on a Friday and so it's just a weird concept but this actually worked out really well so I did another Dutch door spread um, I decorated this edge with I don't know if you can see this stamp that I got uh, from that same AliExpress set and then I just cut it out and kind of followed the, the waves of that have a section for my April prep so what I do to prep out for a month um, place to plan out my weeklies and then just my basic area for my spreads for the dailies and then a place to also prep for the week afterwards and then I also did a little piano on the side because I thought it looked really cool with the, uh, the music dance on the other side of it. And that basically concludes this video. I will do my reverse slip throughs, but I hope y'all have been doing okay. Um, it's weird to believe that we are like one third into one third, one quarter. Well, I think technically we're entering the one third and just leaving the one quarter mark because how much to buy but I hope that 2022 has been treating you all well right and I hope that you know you're still working away and you need your solutions that you're staying safe that you're staying healthy and that life has been good to you lately I'm sending you all my love and I promise I will try to post more. Uh, if you are also a April baby, happy early birthday to you. And I just want to say I love you to the minute back and I will see you in my next one. Take care always. Jay. Will you be satisfied? No? No? Okay. Take you. Take you. <laughs> take care always. Jay. Hey. That works. <laughs>